All right, a little excited about this one. Instead of doing a review, um, I'll show you what I've been working on. This here is similar to the, it's a 3D print, similar to the uh, Wakara Vitus. Um, it also uses some of the 3D design from the Mavic Pro uh, clones that are out there, um, DIY RC, and there's another one I'll leave in the link below. And uh, kind of redid a lot of things and made it to where you didn't have to use those small flight controllers, um, motors with integrated ESCs, and trying to cram everything into a really small um, Mavic Pro design like this. So I wanted to take something that you could take your standard um, standard motors that you use on a 400, 450 size quad, your standard flight controller, which I'm going to be using an APM 2.8 and um, FS1A6B, I believe is a flash guide transmitter that goes with it. Is there so I'll be using that so this will be my complete package and there'll be a lot of other stuff in there telemetry um, I'll be able to hook it to my phone and using the tower app tower beta have telemetry and have um, FPV at the same time and that's why I chose the APM because mission planner can or you can use tower beta instead of mission planner and do that with this um, flight controller now you could also go small and use um, an APM 3.1, make everything smaller, make your battery smaller, and everything else. But I wanted to be able to use a standard um, 5200. This is a 5000. So this is a 5000 milliamp battery, and it just slides in the back, and that'll fit in there some kind of way by the time we're done with it. And it'll be easy to, it'll either have a um, rubber band around here or possibly a rubber band that you just flip up or a strap going around the back just to hold it um, down at the bottom Let's see if we can get in there this out. So down at the bottom is going to be our um, power module so this is a 30 amp power module here and what I'll do is have it barely sticking in there like this and up a, raised up a little so that once you put the battery in, you can just plug in your power and you're ready to go. So the key things of this is the folding arms. So let's show you that here. If I take this off. So this is my first design was with these pretty sturdy um, front arms here. And let's see if I can get this off. I just got it screwed in. The problem is you'd have to screw it in every time you wanted to fly because this would get in the way when you're trying to fold it up. But it's not a bad design and it's pretty bulky and I don't think it will break. So to fold it up you just fold the back in hold on, and fold the front and there you go. So this will pretty much be the size of the quad right there all folded up. Which is not too bad. This is my 250 uh, millimeter size spark um, clone and I haven't done a video on this yet I might later and uh, so you can see it packs up really nice now what I've worked on over here is another leg that I'm working on and this one will be able to go in and out and will fold out and stay relatively still so as long as you can land it without it wedging back real far then you're good inside I'm using a couple um, of the ball plungers one of them this one doesn't it doesn't have it in this one yet I have them on order like I said this is a work in progress so a lot of stuff I have is on order and if you fold it out this one doesn't have it in there but this one has a ball joint in there you can see it pops into place and it's a little stiff to try to get it back so hopefully the wind doesn't shear, you know move it back but what I'm thinking I might put another one in here so I have two and I saw somebody do that with the Mavic clone they actually had um, four total so two up here and then two down here and once that happens you're not going to see this hole this was um original hole that I put there just so I can put a screw in here 
and test it before I had ball joints so I could put a screw in there and hold it hold it in place like this rear one. I could put a screw in there and hold it in place just to test it. So the final print won't have this hole won't be showing. So that's good. So all in all, um, it's not very big. Your GPS will go up here. I plan on using this small gimbal controller and that will fit nicely in here. Um, I'm thinking either a run cam split or possibly just going 1080p and using, you know, that's for 1080p also, but using a Mobius. And here's my gimbal control or my gimbal that I um, made up. And uh, this works. I tried it on the Spark. And this will go in here. So with this configuration, it will stick out um, a little bit. See if it was in the bag, it will stick out some. But uh, if I were to cut this down, this part down here some, and brought it back, then the gimbal would only, you know, would barely stick out there. But that limits how much room I have inside to put extra stuff. So, again, it's just stuff I'm working on, so we'll see what we're going to do. You can notice the motors are the wrong, the holes are not aligned right. i got to fix that. So there's different things I need to fix. These are not real propellers. These are, well, they're 3D printed propellers. I would not try to fly with these. I just put them on here so you can um, see what it looked like with folding propellers. These are 9 inch propellers. And the goal was for you to be able to take all the standard stuff you had in your bigger um, quadcopter and put on there. So if you look and I grab a 10 inch, it'll fit on there and it won't hit. You got plenty of room and it won't hit the side. And when I put it back here, it'll be a little close, but it won't hit if I were to shave maybe this much off of here, and then the rear wouldn't hit. So you could actually use um, 10 inch props, standard um, 980, 920, uh, probably 980 uh, motors. These here are. 980 kV motors, your ESCs. So there's a couple different options that I had thrown around, and uh, let's try the first one. The first one is your standard ESC, and it would wedge into here, and this gets your um, ESCs from having to be on your motors or inside your quad and leaves you with more space. So what it looks like, you might think, oh, that's a little bulky, but if you look, it doesn't look bad with those on there. And when it's closed up, it doesn't look bad at all. So this way you can use your standard size ESC. There's also the little bees that are out there now that are um, 30 amp. And they will go, they'll fit in into here. So if I wanted to go the little bee route, I could use this small arm here compared to this big arm. And it saves on a little bit of weight. And... Uh, it looks a little sleeker, but I'm not sure how those um, little bees would work on here. And again, it's all stuff that I'll, I'll make an STL file, STL files later on, and it'll depend on what you want to do. If you got little SC, ESCs, you can put them there. If you got the ESC combos, you can um, you know deal with do without this big one. Um, but I really think I'm going this way with the um, folding. Uh, landing gear or the feet because it just packs up a lot slicker and this makes it to where I don't have to unscrew anything or um, take anything apart to fly. All I got to do is pop the battery in. The battery connector will be sitting back here so I'll just pop the battery in, plug it in and it will be ready to go. So again this is the start, the very 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 beginning of this project and uh, there will be more videos to come uh, showing how I've changed it up. Oh, one other thing. The way I've done this, I did, I did it like the um, the Vitus. So instead of having like the um, Mavic to where you have one motor that's higher. Let's get this back. So instead of having it to where one motor is higher than the other, 
the way this is designed with this being um, higher in the back, this motor mount being higher in the back, it puts the motors just about at the same height. So when it goes to take off, the motors will almost be at the same height. So that's pretty much it. Uh, there'll be more videos to come. Please like, subscribe, uh, leave some comments down below on things you may want to see on this thing. And um, yeah, just follow me and I will try to do some updates as soon as I get some other stuff in. Alright, thanks for watching.